Thanks, Paul. I, uh, I, need to, I need to make one, one other announcement. With the gentleman who brought the manta ray, please retrieve it. We are not allowed to clean rays or skates. Now, this is not our policy. This is an RCA Corporation policy. Once again, my apologies for the inconvenience there. Uh, my next guest is certainly one of the funniest people on television today. When he is not appearing on this show, he can be seen on SCTV, also on this network. Let's take a look now and uh, see a little bit of Martin Short in action on that program. Ladies and gentlemen, watch the monitors. And at home, as always, use your television sets. Has this ever happened to you? Hey, taxi! Why you? A perfectly good day ruined, right? Wrong. Not with Bronco's new shower and a briefcase. I know what you're thinking. Sure, he's clean, but he's still soaking wet. Well, not for long, because I ordered early enough to receive this special bonus attachment. Bronco's new blow dryer and a briefcase. Shower in a briefcase. And if you act now, you'll get blow dryer in a briefcase. Send 1595 to shower in a briefcase. Box 311, Bunting, New Brunswick. No, CODs, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Martin Short. <laughs> Martin, how are you? Nice to see you again, sir. Well, that's uh, that's very funny. That's thank you. Really nice, and you uh, uh, you do terrific work on the show. And, oh, thank and you. thanks for coming back. Um, you, in addition to stuff like that, you do some people, uh, not, not famous characters, but characters that you have invented. Uh, Ed Grimley. Ed Grimley is a character that I do, um, uh, kind of a visual character. He kind of talks like this, you know, and his hair is up. You really have to have the whole visual <laughs> get it. Now, but now his, his hair is up. I mean, it's, it's way up, isn't it? It's stuck up this high, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's that concept <clears throat> of when in doubt, go big and physical and don't worry about the words. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, now, now, did you ever know anybody with his hair way up there? What, what is no, the... No, no, well, uh, actually, but uh, you, you find that you get these characters from uh, people you know. There was a guy who used to live uh, below my brother named Craig Steubing, and he was kind of an 80s um, a screamer. He was an 80s screamer. Uh, kind of a, he was a designer, really. <laughs> and it's, it's not so, it's more of a wine 80s. You know, the kind of uh, stereotypical screamer of the 60s that Jonathan Winters did, uh -huh. for example. Yeah. It's out. <clears throat> you don't do, now it's more whiny, it's more tired, exhausted. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I just have problems with it generally. I mean, that's a general attitude. Uh -huh. I, mean, I was once, <laughs> I was once passing his apartment. He lived below my, uh, below my brother, and, and this is beautiful. He, he was a designer, and he used his apartment as a, an office, and I heard him screaming on the phone. He was angry, uh -huh. and he said, I had ordered a Peggy Lee White. Now, what the hell goes here? <laughs> a Peggy Lee White. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I took that voice completely and did it on stage in, in Second City. Yeah. And actually, uh, uh, I used to do a routine as a hairdresser. Actually, you can help me with this. If, oh, goody. When I point to you, yeah. you say you're kidding. Okay. So he's doing someone's hair and he's saying, you know, I know Liz, per Liz Taylor personally. You're kidding. Absolutely. I remember <laughs> in 1968 when she and Dickie were staying at the King Eddie Hotel, I did Liz's makeup. You're kidding. I wouldn't lie. I remember this one day, I was doing Liz's eyes and they really are violet too. And Dickie kind of came bursting into the hotel room and the two of them got into the most vitriolic argument I have ever seen. I mean, I literally freaked out. And they shoved me into a washroom with a bottle of sculpt. I remember it vividly. And in 15 minutes, I drank the bottle, got drunk, and sobered up again. I mean, I was literally <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> but one day, I was doing that on stage, and, and I looked, and, and the guy, whose name I will not say, uh, was the, actually, the actual guy. The, the actual yeah. guy, whose voice was clearly, no exaggeration of mm -hmm. this, 
was sitting right there. Mm. So I quickly went from that to saying that Liz Taylor is so dynamic because she has this power over people. I looked down and said, you know, you know, she's a really good broad. <laughs> <laughs> End change. It didn't get any laughs, but I didn't get punched out. Well, that's good. Uh, you don't know if the guy was flat or defended. You don't care. No, 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 not really. Well, I mean, it, it was his voice. Yeah. I mean, he, he can't deny that yeah. that's what he spoke. Uh, we have to go away for a commercial, Martin, and uh, we'll be right back to continue right. this. Thank you for being here, Martin Short is here. Uh, where does that begin if you're doing an impersonation of a person? Well, it's tricky. Uh, if, if you want to do... Uh, I did Jerry Lewis on one of the shows, and, and, and I, I, the Lewis, the young kid Lewis was... You know, I had that from a long time ago. <laughs> but the hardest thing was getting the today Lewis, and I found that once I cracked the laugh, and I, I would listen to the laugh, and finally I realized that it was just... It was kind of a variation of London Lee's laugh, but it wasn't. It was my... <laughs> <laughs> so then once you get, <laughs> you know, the thing is uh, that uh, they're afraid of a perfectionist, the studios. And if a Jerry Lewis anchor to get a distribution deal because of some fakakta 12-year-old with the pimples on his face who's head of the studio this week, who doesn't know from Hardly Working or the Aaron Boy or whatever, who only knows from Eva Braun with the big Fohaben or the airplane crashing through the thing. Where is a Jerry Lewis supposed to find the love and the caring and the feeling and the good and the nice? And even if you do, it's not the good kind because of the variation of the different thing. <laughs> now, um, uh, we have some videotape of you doing somebody that, uh, I guess if you thought about it, it, it would become apparent that sooner or later people would be doing him. But uh, you, I guess you were the first one to actually do this man, huh? Yes, I believe so, yes. All right, this would be... Uh, it's, a, it's a Tang commercial. A Tang commercial, and do you want to tell them who you're doing, or just let them be pleasantly surprised? If or? they don't find out, then it was... Okay, uh, let's just... We'll, we'll, we'll roll it, we'll what the hell. Who, yeah. All right, this is, uh, once again, uh, Mr. Martin Short, uh, a scene uh, from a recent SCTV television program. We asked Robin Williams if he could tell the difference between freshly squeezed orange juice and new improved Tang. Oh, Tang you. You're welcome. <laughs> Robin... <laughs> Can you tell the difference? Oh, what pressure. I hope I don't let you down. What if I pick the wrong one? Don't win me for Mama Speaks, Captain Bob! <laughs> oh, I'm rowing as fast as I can! Oh, Benny Bo, it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Can you tell the difference between Tang and orange juice? Oh, experiment. Like Dr. Jekyll. Oh, I'm ready for the potion, Doctor. Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes! But it's not mine! It's Richard Simmons! And one, two, three, four, the girls are not married! <laughs> it has new flavored crystals. Oh, crystal. Like a crystal ball. What a concept. Oh, Eddie, yeah, I'm Uncle Henry. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. I'll get you and your little dog, too. We represent the Morris Agency. Oh, it's so wonderful. Ah! <laughs> so which one tastes better? Oh, look at the size of that man's ears. I must find out for myself. Come with me, Eddie. <laughs> Oh, Mayday, Mayday. Captain Krieg is playing with his marbles again. It's one thing in a beach, but it's another thing in a boat this size. Oh, look at the wave coming. Oh, bitchin', man, bitchin'. Let's share the wave and ride it to our cosmic center. Oh, I must warn the others. Oh, Captain Ahab, Captain Ahab, I put that one down. Bang, orange-flavored you know crystals. The breakfast of astronauts. Uh, one giant step for mankind, one small step for Will Chamberlain. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, right on the money. Oh. Uh, tell me about uh, now. What is the status of the program now? Uh, SCT well, I guess SCTV is uh, canceled. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's not going to be on at 12:30 to two on NBC. That we know. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be moved to 4:30 to six on Sunday. Um, <laughs> Opposite Catholic Mass, uh, that seems to be the... Now, there, there, must, there must be another life uh, for this program, don't you think? No, I, there are certain, I mean, there are discussions going on about different people interested in doing the show, and, and I think that we'd like to do a movie t together. The the, everyone gets along so great, and yeah. they've known each other for so many years, and it's such a good working situation that I don't think anyone wants it to end, you know. Yeah. And... But you don't, you can't say any, at this time what's what's going on. Well, no, nothing's really resolved right now. I'm yeah. just uh, 
hanging down, out. Down here cleaning fish. <laughs> um, well, you're certainly a terrific addition to the uh, an already great cast. And, uh, you know, good luck uh, with everything, Martin. And thank you very much for being here again. Thank you, David. <laughs> Mr. Martin Short, ladies and gentlemen, will be right back. Hotel accommodations for most guests of Late Night with David Letterman furnished by Berkshire Place, a Dunphy Classic Hotel, in exchange for this announcement. For reservations at Dunphy Hotels in the U.S. and Europe, call toll-free 800-228-2121. Okay. Thank you, folks. Uh, Martin, thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank our studio audience. You folks were terrific, as always. Uh, also, my thanks to Mariel Hemingway tonight, Jane Curtin, again, Mr. Martin Short from NBC Sports, Marv Albert, uh, Paul Schaefer, and the organization. Thanks, guys, for being here. Uh, also, thanks to Bill Wendell, our announcer. Monday, actress Louise Lassen will be here. Have a good weekend. Good night, folks. Bye -bye.